So guess what? I've been working very diligently. I'm not gonna say hard, cause it's not really, really hard, but it is time consuming and I have been working very diligently to record a video every day. Today is the sixth day and I'm still recording cause I'm still determined, but I realized that I've been uploading my videos in low quality. So I just wanna drop a little tip here. If you edit in Final Cut Pro, like I do, it does give you the option to export as a master file. I'm just talking on a very basic level, okay? I'm not like a pro. Um, I don't use all of the tools and things like that in Final Cut Pro, but I'll tell, I'll share what I've learned. If you um, export master file, it's gonna export in 1080, um, is it P, 1080P? It's gonna export in HD if that's what it's recorded in. Um, if it's from your iPhone, which I have found that iPhone clips are very hard to edit now in Final Cut Pro, um, maybe because they're 4K now, I don't know. But in the last year or so, I've noticed that it's difficult to edit iPhone clips. But iPhone videos, at least uh, from the 11 Pro Max, that's the one that I have, record in 4K if you have it set up that way. I have my phone set to record in 4K. So when you record in 4K um, or you record in 1080 HD, that is what your video will export as in using the master file export option, which is the default option. That's the option that I typically use. I decided to try exporting straight to YouTube, thinking that it might save me some time, right? Because typically if I'm exporting the master file, then I have to wait for the master file to export um, into onto the computer or you know into my little folder on the computer and then I have to ex I have to upload it to YouTube. So I was thinking, okay, I'm killing two birds with one stone. But the resolution exports low. Um I just thought about something. I might be able to export to YouTube and change the resolution to 1080. I'll have to look and see if I can do that. Um, but as of right now, I, regardless, am having to re-upload my videos to, um, to YouTube. Fun. But like my husband told me, um, it's better to have found it out now than to have been uploading for 20 days and find that out. So I am learning. I am loving it. And I am learning. The other... Thing that's going on today is that my poor daughter Autumn is it seems like she is definitely going through the four month sleep regression it's called four month, four month sleep regression so I'm thinking that I have until four months to prepare mentally or to you know hope that it doesn't happen or whatever the case but she's three and a half months and she's three and a half months. Sorry, I was yawning. And um, it is happening. So it seems to be happening, I should say. So for the last week, I think I talked about this vaguely in the last video, but I don't know what order <laughs> these are going to be in. But this is number six, um, Vlogtober mini vlog number six. So look for Vlogtober mini vlog number five. I don't know if they're going to be in order when I re-upload them. I'm going to do my very best to put them in order, but the thing is that I have to upload uh, this video as well. So regardless, all of these videos will be up and I'm gonna try to do them in order. Anyway, I was up last night um, for the third or fourth time with Autumn and I decided to look on the What to Expect app. I am in a group chat on there 
for June 2021 babies. And I noticed that someone basically told my story, like the exact same thing, but she had posted it two weeks ago and it's the same. Her daughter started, or her baby, I don't know if she had a girl or boy, started experiencing sleep regression at three and a half months. So at the middle of 13 weeks, that is exactly what is going on with Autumn right now on the same time frame. The crazy thing is that she slept for the longest she's ever slept um, during this week as well. So two days out of this past week, she has slept for six hours or very close to six hour stretches. She never does that. She's done four, she usually does a four hour stretch, then two or three hours and then two hours. And then she basically takes her morning nap on my chest. So that buys me two or three more hours, right? Um, so sleep has been going great up until a week ago. I track everything in my phone. If there is one thing that I would suggest is tracking things in your phone. Because for sure, I've it has helped me to be able to look back and see, okay, this is what happened this day. This is what happened that day. Um, and so I, that's why I'm able to say she has been sleeping sporadically like this for a week um, and there were two day, two nights in a row where she slept for a long time in the middle of this sporadic sleeping but now y'all she is up she was up like five times last night and if you count that you only sleep for about in total what eight hours maybe nine or ten hours you know depending on what time you go to sleep and wake up so 30 minutes to two hour increments she's been up twice to eat because I don't feed her more than that I'm not gonna feed her more than twice overnight um, because that's the norm for her um, and I'm not going to you know create another habit of her waking up and all of that stuff she's not hungry uh, but all, all of the time, excuse me, that she's waking up. She is babbling and laughing and it's the cutest thing. I even recorded it some at a point last night. But I was adjusted to sleeping and now I have to get readjusted to not sleeping. So like I said, it's been going on for a week. I was tired yesterday. I am exhausted today. Um... And last night, before all the sleep regressiveness, <laughs> um, that's when I noticed that all of my videos were uploaded in poor quality. So, yesterday I had a bunch of beautiful things to say. <laughs> they still stand. Um, I have a lot to look forward to. You know, I'm still so happy to be doing this. Um, of course, you know, anything Autumn needs, she will get from us. But I will be glad when this regression is over. So stay tuned. I'm going to try two ways of re-exporting. Right now I'm re-exporting my original vlog, which was the weekend vlog um, that went up end of September. Um, because that one was exported in poor quality as well. Uh, so I'm re-exporting that one. That is the first thing um, that I'm going to export as a master file. But when it comes time to export the next video, I am going to look and see if I can export to YouTube, but change the, um, change the quality of the video. If none of that makes sense, I'm so sorry. If you don't care about that, I'm sorry. If Final Cut Pro is like, you're like, what the hell is that? I'm so sorry. But this can be very helpful if you do care about this so i just thought i would share i will probably uh record um both ways to export to show what i'm talking about after this video finishes exporting which we'll see how long that takes because i think it takes hours but after this video finishes exporting then we'll move on in other news i still need to fall clothes wanted to wipe down the downstairs countertops and clean the two toilets that we have downstairs and stuff. I'm gonna have to ask my husband to help me with some of that stuff. Um, 
another pro tip i'm not a pro <laughs> definitely not a pro at, at vlogging yet or at mommyhood yet i'm learning in both aspects but um pro tip or a learner learner's tip ask for help when you need it let me go let me move side i'm gonna eat um, while autumn is relaxing and i'll be back bye so good news it did not take this largest re-export any time to export so um let's look at the info i'm trying to see if i can look at the info on this file to see if it is indeed um 1080 so that's what it recorded in 1080 phd and then 24 pixels i think it's per second 24p um so next i'm gonna go into the next one that i need to re-export which would be this shampoo and my brushes so let's close that actually let's go here real quick it should have gone to youtube videos so yeah here's the re-export for 924 i can go to get info and yes 1920 1080 so that's good there's one more thing that we need to see if it's gonna happen on youtube and I'm going to start the export for this other one. This one recorded in 10, 1080p HD, 24 um, pixels per second as well. And then look at this. Um, so, okay, let me first, I have a lot on my mind, but let me first show the two things that I do. Let me zoom in some so y'all can really see the screen. So you want to make sure nothing is selected like that. Um, so you just click above or below the timeline there. Um, because I learned in a video today that if something is selected, then you will only export that item and that's not what we want drinking water because I'm going to be feeding Autumn in just a minute. So let's go here to 10.1. Um, this is the one that we want to export. I did have to double click there because I had another video pulled up in the timeline. But double clicking there brought this video up into the timeline. And this is the way that I've always exported. File, share, master file. When I go through the master file, you see that it says it's exporting in 1080. Um, so that's good. I know that I can export this file and it will be exported in that HD format. Now, what we want to see is if I can still export to YouTube. Yeah, see, nope. Oh wait, there's a way to look into it. Settings, resolution, 1080. There we go. So there, it looks like, it looks like there is a way to export in HD straight to YouTube. So we're gonna try that with this one because that way I will still save the time of exporting to the computer and save space exporting to the computer. Okay, so let's try that. Exporting straight to YouTube, but this time in the 1080 HD. So we see that it's starting right there. What I wanna do in the meantime is go into the Creator Studio on YouTube. And check out like if I could ever download all of my videos from here. Yep. 
So I can always go in later and download all of my videos from YouTube. One thing that I have heard people um, saying lately is that, you know, once you upload something somewhere else like YouTube or Instagram, you don't own the content anymore. They own it. And then what happens if YouTube or Instagram um, crashes, then you lose everything that you, you know, have uploaded there. So you do want, you know, to have your own space. So I'm thinking about doing a blog, but in that case, I would need to download my videos to my computer. Um, if ever I decide to do that, then I can take some time, sit down like I am now, and just go in and save the videos to the computer. So anyway, I hope this is helpful for somebody. Um, I'll be back once this uh, is all the way white because that will mean, or actually it will go back to this but have a check mark in it um, and that will mean that the video is fully exported to YouTube and we will take a look and see um, if it worked so I'll be back to show you guys that so feeling better already be back soon hello it is the next day so now it is what's today Adam let's check on the fridge it is Thursday October 7th and yesterday I did get the videos re-uploaded. Um, but to tell you the truth, when I looked at the footage, I really can't tell if it is um, re- if, or if it's better or not. I don't know. Maybe it depends. Well, t most definitely they're uploaded in HD now. I would love for them to be uploaded in 4K. That is my next thing that I'm going to try to figure out is if I can export in 4K and upload to YouTube in 4K. But um, I am <laughs> just laughing at Autumn. She's just getting a kick out of staring at my shirt right now. Or maybe my it's my necklace that she's staring at. Um, right now I'm going to end this vlog. Um, yes, I just popped back on <laughs> to finish the vlog up. So today I'm going to post what would have been posted yesterday and then today's um, footage, which is just this right here. Uh, and tomorrow we'll be back to one a day vlogs. So yesterday I spent the YouTube time, the time that I'm dedicating to YouTube, um, re-uploading my last five um, Vlogtober vlogs. So I did not post the footage of me talking about that. So that's going to be a part of this vlog, which you've already seen, obviously. And then it will be us saying that we will see you guys tomorrow. So here's Autumn. We kind of match today. My lips match her <laughs> little rust color, the um, polka dots and her little headband. And then I've got on pink and she's got on pink. So this is actually one of the um, onesies that I showed in our haul in the Walmart haul from um, Vlogtober mini blog mini vlog number five. So check that out if you want to see the other patterns that came with this one. Um, I just have on a little bodysuit that has like a mock neck and I have a pink and white blazer on. Both pieces I've had for a long time so I don't remember where I got them from. And I just have my little pea necklace on just an initial necklace that I probably got from Etsy. But yes, this is it for today. Um, it's already late evening. Baby girl has taken her last nap and we're just gonna give her a bath and then she will be going down for bed in a couple hours. Update on the sleep regression. Yesterday, um, last night she slept better. We'll see what happens tonight. Uh, sleep deprivation is no joke. It makes me a different person throughout the day just because it is literally just physically exhausting. Um, so hopefully we will have a couple days of a break or maybe we're done with the sleep regression. Don't know. We will see. Um, we'll see. So 
I will be back tomorrow and I guess you guys will get an update on that too then. So see, tomorrow we'll have some beauty content or um, some fashion content, something like that. So see you then. <coughs> Bless you. Bye-bye, y'all.